Hi, I just wanted to uh, show you my uh, transcoding process with uh, Handbrake because I'm actually in the middle at the moment. I'm on my Tagano microscope uh, streaming m machine here and I've put in my old uh, NVIDIA RTX 2060 card into here and what I'm doing is I'm leaving this machine actually running now uh, transcoding all of my original video files or not all of them because I <laughs> thing is I've been saving every single video uh, that comes out of my camera every single raw file the raw video files I have saved those ever since video number one right so we're talking a lot of videos now in more recent years of course I've switched over to 4k video for a lot for a lot of my videos for teardowns for example always shoot them uh, in 4k but even the 1080p stuff is like quite high bitrate stuff coming out of the camera and the raw files now probably for the last six months I don't know how many videos I don't know exactly when I changed but um, I've been transcoding them before I edit them but that's only for the more recent videos for all of the all of my backlog of all all my videos I have edited uh, the raw video files and I've kept those raw video files but now the high bitrate stuff the 4k I'm ready to actually clear off my uh, NAS uh, drive and actually archive another group of videos I've got you know like 500 maybe 500 videos or something last 500 or so um, and th I'm looking to archive those onto hard drives and get them off my NAS and my NAS is backed up to a, an, an online uh, cloud storage thing um, as well but you know I want to like periodically uh, once I get enough of them I like to fill them up dedicated hard drives I get two different hard drives uh, two different hard drives of two different brands um, and I duplicate the contents on there and and then I erase them from my network array storage. Now this is different to the uh, the actual rendered files which I upload to YouTube. I keep those as well, um, but they're quite a lot smaller than what the all the raw original files are. So they're not a file storage uh, problem. So you can see here that I'm actually running uh, Handbrake uh, script. So I'm uh, you can see. Here I'm uh, transcoding this a 1080p file here. Can I? No, I can't highlight. Oh yeah, yeah, I can highlight that. See, so this is a um, so this is the output geometry. So the input uh, geometry here. This is my Apollo 50th uh, video that it just happens to be running at the moment. That's 24 uh, megabit uh, bit rate, 8 bit H.264, and that's uh, 60 frames per second there. And and I'm transcoding that um, basically the H.264. Uh, so yeah, there it is there, H.265, I'm using the GPU, the NV Inc, um, and with a constant quality factor of 26. So I find 26 is pretty much ideal for 4K, and it's, it's more than good enough for uh, 1080p content as well. Although, really, I could do, say, 20, I usually do about 23 constant quality factor for 1080p. Uh, content, but in this particular case, this is just storage of the old video, raw video files. Cost of quality factor of 26 is more than good enough. So yeah, I'm um, I've got this script, and I'll show you the script in a minute. So I'm busily transcoding like 8,000 video files or something like that. I'm doing in batch of batches of 100 videos, and let me actually go you. So I've actually got you can see up here on this on my desktop here. Uh, yeah, you can see this. I've got a batch file and this is how like a Windows a DOS batch file, right? So this is how I uh, Transcode my card as soon as I shoot a video I take the um, the clips file from that card and I just drag and drop it onto my batch file here and then in the process and ham I've written a script that handbrake then just uh, goes in the background and and does all this uh, transcoding and now I've got this set up so that on this machine here which I can just leave running for days and days and days it'll transcode all my files for me uh, this is my NAS uh, drive here and you can see that these are all these are all my raw videos right <laughs> these are look <laughs> right I, I last time I did it was so my last hard drive backup was 1175 video number 1175 but 1176 onwards right through 1176 right right through right through right through what am i up to 1560 something at the moment right so i've got to do all the i've got to do all these files right 1460 
60. I'm getting there and custom LCD design. Ooh, quantum computer. You haven't seen that one yet. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm now I'm saving those to my local C drive here. And you can see video temp. And I've done uh, 1200. It's in the middle of, for some reason, it's not doing them in alphabetical order. It's got 1230 and then it jumps to 1288. But it's going to do them all. And you can see that handbrake. It's doing about 330 frames per second. It's usually about 360, 370 frames per second. Maybe it's because I'm screen capturing uh, at the moment. So that's uh, taking some resources here. But, um, oh, why is that not, why is it stopped? Oh, because I interacted. Oh, I physically clicked on it, so I stopped it. Ah, oops. <laughs> there you go. I didn't know that. It paused. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm transcoding all these files. So what it does is the script's uh, smart. It actually takes all of, it knows the subdirectories and it does all the videos in the subdirectory. So I can see uh, roughly I'm getting about a 70% reduction. So it's reducing my file size by about a third. So let's take, um, for example, Let's take this, uh, what is it, um, D-cell battery scam, 1200, right? That is, uh, what is it, um, two, 2 gig, there you go. So, But if we go up to here, my original RAW, 1200, let's go up to 1200. And where is it? 1200, D-cell battery scam. So... It went from 5.4 gigabytes down to 2 gig. So quite a sizable reduction there. So that's why I'm running this transcoding uh, process. So, but like I said, I do actually run this process on all of my uh, more recent uh, videos, but I haven't been doing it for that long, maybe six months or something. So I'm not exactly sure when I started there, but anyway, um, yeah, it's just sitting in the background. So let me show you the script that I've got. Um, Cause it, and I did actually have to, I put this on Twitter and it's quite interesting. I actually had forgotten how I wrote this script. It was donkey's years ago, donkey's years ago. I think I cut like Cludge some code from somewhere, some examples from somewhere, and I it, I cludged it together, but it never handled subdirectories properly, um, or, or or it did, but it only handled one subdirectory, and it wouldn't create the subdirectories, and then when you dragged multiple subdirectories in, it wouldn't handle that. So I actually asked um, ChatGPT uh, to fix it, to fix it for me, and it did. It did. It actually, I'll, I'll try and insert, I'll try and edit it in here. Um, and it actually fixed it for me. So this is, um, so this is like, you can see my old code. Uh, well, yeah, no, the, the old code is basically this, right? The, the old code is basically this here, but it, it added in this loop thing with this. So this makes a new subdirectory. So because, of course, when you drag in a whole bunch of subdirectories, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm grabbing like, you know, a hundred of these subdirectories, right? I won't actually drag it now because it'll start another process. Um, it'll actually physically start another handbrake process. So I can do like multiple ones at the same time, but you're not getting any speed increase because it's just sharing the GPU resources. Anyway, so I just drag in like a hundred subdirectories. That, that'd be like, you know, 5,000 files or something, right? 5,000 video files. I just drag them in there and um, it, it just handles it all. It's really cool, right? So this is my um, script. Oh, actually, I'll probably, if I can know, I can leave it down in the comments down below, but you can see it here. If you want to do it uh, for yourself, it's really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just running uh, the, hand, the command line version of Handbrake here. I'm just, uh, and you can see, it's just putting it on my local D drive. So I sort of like hard, hard coded that um, in there, right? And it's running the NV Inc., uh, H265 encoder, quality factor 26. Oh, that's audio encoder, um, a AVAAC. Uh, Verbos just puts all the crap on the screen um, there, which I kind of like. Um, CFR's constant uh, frame rate, and it just matches the frame rate. So if you feed in 50 frames, 50 or 60 frames per second, you get 50, 60 frames per second out. But I can change that using the command line options to anything. Uh, that I want. I've even got other, like on my main machine, desktop machine, I've got like a dozen different batch files set up for different things for doing, you know, for sizing uh, 4K down to 1080p, for example, and other stuff. So changing frame rates and uh, for my podcast version, my 720p podcast version, I've got one specifically uh, for that. So as soon as I finish rendering a video, I take my 
4K or 1080p content, I drag it onto a specific uh, batch file that I've got that creates my uh, podcast version. So, so I just got ChatGPT to add in this rem, uh, this uh, loop thing. Look, it's even <laughs> putting comments. Rem, you know, re- rem, which is short for a remark. Um, you know, old school DOS batch stuff, and it works. It works really well. And as I said, like it's processing now tens of thousands of video files all in sequence so it'll just do it one it's just doing one file at the moment and look it's just about to finish boom it loads in another you can see where it actually got it from this is the unit upo 3000 teardown for example and c and c is the uh, clip 16 mpeg 4 which came oh that was quick right and some will be 4k like this is 60 frames per second so i don't know why i was shooting 60 frames per second teardown for Ah, uh, that's a bit dumb. I usually I shoot uh, thirty frames per second now, um. So this might this was obviously on an older uh, camera, or I changed uh, settings or whatnot. There you go. I just wanted to show you the batch file. So I'm just uh, transcoding all these to make them about one third the size they were before. This is just for backup archive purposes, and this is not the videos I upload to YouTube. Again, this is just keeping all my old raw files, and I've got a whole stack of hard drives which I keep them all on, but. The more modern ones, 4K content, high bitrate stuff, you know, it is you don't fit many videos onto like a two terabyte hard drive, for example. Like you might fit, you know, 50 videos on there. I, I, I don't know exactly, right? Well, I can go in here, right? Here's the, no, here's the, here's the raw files. Let's take a, you know, a 4K. Aha, 4K content. Here you go, my ultrasound teardown video 1314, for example. Right, so you know it's like 1.5 gig, you know, just for one clip because I start and stop my camera. Like every time I change angles or you know start and stop talking, I start and stop a clip. So a tear down like that, it's got 75 clips, right? <laughs> 75 clips <laughs> for a tear down. That's that's typical. You know, a typical video might have 50. Like a typical teardown might have 50 videos or something like that. And these have these are images like, you know, screen captures and stuff like that. So overlay um, stuff. And the interesting thing about Handbrake, I believe I uh, tweeted this. I didn't know this. But if you've got a text file, for example. So if, if one of my videos actually contains a text file, like just a TXT file, it'll actually convert. Handbrake will convert that text file into a, a scrolling video into a little scrolling video and it does the same with images too it actually converts them to video so this script it doesn't look for just video files it'll look for any file which it knows and it'll convert it into a video file so if there's just an image this script will actually um just it'll generate a little (laughs) short little you know a video clip or something like short like really i don't know how long it actually is but quite short stuff so in fact we might be able to go in and see that yeah here it is here right so here's the d-cell battery scam here right and it's actually created image one image two image three right so it's actually created will we see that no i can't play that but yeah it's it's actually converted some images into tiny uh, it's only 270 bytes right but it converts it into tiny little and and the thumbnail there it converted the thumbnail so i don't know how that works but yeah Um, Yeah, Handbrake can do things like convert text into scrolling text. It's actually really quite cool. So, yeah, anyway, there you go. That's my uh, batch file. That's my uh, magic Handbrake uh, batch file, which I do a ton of different stuff with. This is why I'm obsessed with Handbrake, because it's got the command line version, and I can just drag entire subdirectories, or in this case, selection of like a hundred different subdirectories of all my raw videos, 10,000 video files, one drag, walk away, and then it generates um, it, it generates all these. Um, so this subdirectory was empty before, and where, where did we start at? I don't know, 12, we were up to something, 31, was it up to 31 before? So now, oh, I might still be, is it still working on that? Don't know, since I've been shooting this video, but... Oh, and the reason I'm not doing this on my main machine with my new 4060 uh, GPU card is because there's, you know, it's about 30% quicker, maybe. Um, But this thing does, like, for 1080p, it's doing, like, 370-odd frames per second. It does, like, 470, 480 or something on the uh, 4060. But I don't want to leave my main machine running. I can just leave this running in the corner 
here. I can just leave it for days and days and days and everything's hunky-dory. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, doing them in batches of 100 at the moment. So then I can, once I've done this, I will actually, um, once it's finished, this lot here, I will then drag those back to my uh, NAS drive and overwrite um, all of those original video files on there. Um, and I've double checked that it's all hunky-dory, it's all good. I trust in the process, I trust in the handbrake and the script, and uh, yeah, it's all good. And I get a 70% reduction, or thereabouts, in uh, my content, which is really good. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So there you go, that's my magical handbrake script. I use it for a ton of uh, stuff, it's really useful. I love the command line version of uh, handbrake. <laughs> Those batch file experts, oh, you're doing it all wrong. I don't know, I just cobbled this together donkeys years ago. I've been using this for like a decade now or something. I've been using it for a long time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, if you like that video, give it a big thumbs up. As always, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.